Ashoka the Great was the third ruler of the Mauryan Empire, the largest ever in the Indian subcontinent and one of the world's largest empires at its time. In the beginning, Ashoka ruled the empire like his grandfather did, in an efficient but cruel way. He used his strength in ancient Indian warfare to expand the empire and created sadistic rules against criminals. Around 260 BCE, Ashoka waged a destructive war against the state of Kalinga, an independent feudal kingdom located on the east coast, in the present-day state of Odisha and north parts of Andhra Pradesh. The Kalinga War is one of the largest and bloodiest battles in Indian history. This is the only major war Ashoka fought after his accession to the throne. In fact, this war marks the close of empire building and military conquests of ancient India, that began with Maurya King Bindusara. The reasons for invading Kalinga were both political and economic. Kalinga was a prosperous region consisting of peaceful and artistically skilled people. They were the first from the region who traveled offshore to the southeast for trade. For that reason, Kalinga had important ports and a powerful navy. They had an open culture and used a uniform civil code. Kalinga was under the rule of the Nunda Empire until the empire's fall in 321 BCE. Ashoka's grandfather Chandragupta Maurya had previously attempted to conquer Kalinga, but had been repulsed. Ashoka set himself to the task of conquering the newly independent empire as soon as he felt he was securely established on the throne. Kalinga was a strategic threat to the Maurya Empire. It could interrupt communications between Maurya capital Pataliputra and Maurya possessions in central Indian peninsula. Kalinga also controlled the coastline for the trade in Bay of Bengal. No war in the history of India is important either for its intensity or for its results as the Kalinga War of Ashoka. No wars in the human history have changed the heart of the victor from one of wanton cruelty to that of an exemplary piety as this one. The political history of mankind is really a history of wars and no war has ended with so successful a mission of the peace for the entire war-torn humanity as the War of Kalinga. The war was completed in the eighth year of Ashoka's reign. After a bloody battle for the throne following the death of his father, Ashoka was successful in conquering Kalinga, but the consequences of the savagery changed Ashoka's views on war and led him to pledge to never again wage a war of conquest. The bloodshed in the war was so much that it is said the Daya River running next to the battlefield turned red with the blood of slain. Ashoka had seen the bloodshed and felt that he was the cause of the destruction. The whole area of Kalinga was plundered and destroyed, about 100,000 people died on the Kalinga side and an almost equal number of Ashoka's army. After the Kalinga War Ashoka adopted Buddhism to devote the rest of his life to Ahimsa non -violence. Following the conquest of Kalinga, Ashoka ended the military expansion of the empire and began an era of more than 40 years of relative peace, harmony, and prosperity.